have Emily Sewell. At number 32, we have Lily Andrews. And at number 44, we have Alana Pastor. Coached by Ian Griffo Rivers. Assistant coached by Hannah Griffin and Brendan Gold. Now, introducing the Gold Falcons. At number four, we have Alola Geddes. At number five, we have Anastasia Stiltunarez. At number seven, we have Romy Milleroy. At number eight, we have Brenda Harper. Number nine, we have Emerson Ango. At number ten, we have Amy Allen. At number eleven, we have Erin Hunt. At number twelve, we have Emily Ken. And at number thirteen, we have Amala. Coached by Drew Ned Kelly. Now please be outstanding for the National Anthem. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Waverley Basketball Stadium, the Falcon's Nest, to uh, kick off today's proceedings. Now, a little bit later today we're going to have the state champ women's game, Waverley versus Ringwood. That's the first versus fourth game, but today, to start the proceedings, we've got a green versus gold game from the under-14 Falcons. This is to celebrate... The girls got game round of the VJBL and with me is Hannah from assistant coach. She's been listed as of the green team. So how are you going Hannah? Good thanks. Fantastic. So what's your predictions for the game today? Um, I reckon it'll be a pretty close game. Pretty close game. So the girls, are the girls from the one team or are they from a number of teams? Um, well from the goal team there's two people from the 14 ones but from the green team there's it's just all 14 twos. 14 twos, so, uh, so there's a mixture of, of players from across all of the four under 14 teams as well. Yeah. And your, your, your normal team is? The 12 ones. 12 ones, but you haven't been playing a bit lately. Um, Why is that? Because I fractured my foot. Oh dear, so how's that, how's that coming along? Um, it's going good. In a, about three weeks I'll be able to play. Fantastic. And uh, so far the, group, the uh, yellow team yellow team has come up with a foul. Here comes yellow, goal team, moving the ball through hands, kicks it off. Green is uh, 
Not quite certain whether they're playing a zone or whether they're playing man. They're now Green Green gets the intercept. They bring it down through the through the key. And there's who was that that scored there? Uh, that was Lily. Lily, how do you know Lily? She's my sister. So Green takes the lead. They've got out to a two-point lead as Yellow moves the ball through along. And great move there from Yellow. Unable to capitalise there, but they're really, really good move. Here comes Green, moving quickly down there. There's Lily Griffiths again, and she misses the, uh, re the shot. Rebounded by Gold. And the drive and basket almost in. Yellow has actually dominated the possession so far, but they haven't been able to convert. And again, a green possession off on this shot from Yellow. And an intercept to Gold coming down there. And there's the there's the equaliser. So as the assistant coach, what would you be saying to the Green Girls at the moment? Um, probably to rebound a bit more. Rebound? Yeah. Yep. And he is shot outside from uh, from gold no good green trying to get down there to attack the basket and there it is Tegan Tegan scores two points and down the other end as Gold goes to the basket. We have a foul on Green. Sends them to the line. Who's that on the line there? Lola. Nola. Lola. Lola. Okay, you have to help me out with all the names. <laughs> One point scored. It's a uh, four four points each. Four minutes twenty three on the on the clock. Huge shot from gold there. As a uh, green comes back very quickly with a, a, a very easy layup. Shot from goal, no good. It's rebounded by Green. Green's looking down the floor. Lily Griffiths under the basket. Can't get in there. She's turned it over though. And there's a travel. As the subs come in. Who were the subs? That came in. Yes. Um, Bree, um, I'm not sure of that one's name. Okay, so we've got uh, Emily, Emily for uh, the gold team as number 31. Who's that? Emily. Emily scores two points under the basket. 
She has a slight height advantage over the others. <laughs> Into Emily. Emily's shot goes up, doesn't go. But Green's got the ball back again. And here goes Gold, and there's a foul on the play. So Brianna at the line as a couple more subs come in for Green. Uh, Gold, sorry. So far, a close game. Eight plays seven. And that's the equaliser. The game is all tied up, eight all. Good hands there from Gold through Emily. And the drive doesn't go, but Green with the rebound, they're coming back quickly. Basket doesn't go, too tall there Green, two points. And again the height of Green making the difference, but there's a travel. Yellow equalises again. Extremely tight with uh, two minutes, two and a half minutes on the clock as the uh, the Waverley Championship women start to uh, to arrive. Ball through hands. It's gone inside. Back out. Moving through hands again. Now the drive. And Gold loses the handle on the ball. So just under an hour and a half to go and we'll have the championship women's game for you. This will be a, a first versus fourth game, and it's quite critical for the Falcons. They need to, they've had a couple of losses in the last few weeks, which has put their position in the finals at risk. Another foul there to, to Gold. And the foul is called on Anastasia. And that will also be a first versus And uh, Andrew, Ned Kelly, Rings the changes there. <coughs> and travel called. So what's your uh, what's your assessment of the game so far, Hannah? Um Very even? Yeah. Good skills being shown on both sides? Yes. As the foul takes, the green foul takes goal to the line for them to get ahead for the second time in this game. First shot is missed. And the second. So it's still a tied ball game. One minute 22 on the shot clock. 
on the game clock. Emily drives but can't get past the tall timber. As Green rebounds quickly, they've got players out open, but great defense there from goal to get back so quickly. And the basket, great basket there from Green. Who was that? Uh, uh, Eliza. Eliza. So there's half time with um, with the the game at uh, I've got a 12-10. Is that what you've got, Ernest? Yeah. So Green is up by two points to uh, to Gold, uh, and we'll be back in a short time. Okay, so we're back in and uh, with the second half of the goal versus green game. Under 14 girls got game game here at the Waverley Basketball Stadium. This is the warm-up game for the uh, champ women game which starts at 2.30. Ringwood versus Waverley. And Romy picks up a foul for uh, for Green. Uh, for Gold, sorry. <laughs> Green working the ball around. The shot goes up. It's uh, scramble to get to the ball. Ends up with uh, Green, the shot from outside from Green, no good. Gold working hard under the basket. They're running down in numbers. Green gets back, holds them out. Green drop back into a zone. The shot doesn't go, Eliza's shot misses. Now the ball comes out quickly to the, to the tall for Gold. She kicks it across the top of the key. Shot from outside is no good, but it's rebounded by Gold, and the refs have found a foul there. So there's some... So the uh, score bench has just, been, just adjusted the scores. It's now 9 to 13. Green up by 4.
First shot missed. Much better from the field on the run than she is. And the second in. So it's a three point ball game. Green bring the ball down under pressure from Gold. Nearly an intercept. Again, got great defense there from Gold. Great D, great D. Refs could have uh, almost awarded that the other way. The, the ball hadn't gone out by five seconds, but Green goes back to the basket and in the process, uh, there's a foul by Gold. Gold again. And the foul. Let's see. So gold attempt at the shot, doesn't go in, rebound by Green. Green struggling to get it out, it's intercepted by gold, very quick, quickly through hands, now it's slowed down, and the drive is on, and the basket is scored. Okay, so the score bench has actually got gold up. So we'll adjust our scores. They've got a 13, they've got it as 13-15. So the score bench is somewhat slow today with their, uh, their scoring. But it's a two-point game, Hannah. As gold comes down, they all oh, bad pass there. What don't you do when you're don't driving down past? You don't pass, pass across the split line. Yeah. What do you do instead? Yeah, pass down pass, the line. Yeah. yeah. Particularly when there's when there's the opposition driving down the split. Yeah. Far better in that situation to just to keep it out wide, slow the play up, get your players down to help you out. As gold, nice little hand off, and there's the score. So we're now back to a 15 all game. Refs didn't see that hand in the back there. Did you see it? Yeah. All the way through. But they've found a found a foul on on Green. So subs subs in, and both teams sitting on three fouls. Two more two more fouls, and they send the other team into the bonus. Gold moving the ball out. It's out in deep corner. Back up to the wing. Shot short. Green is running it quickly down the floor. They've got plenty of people down there, but a yellow hand, old hand, got in there to uh, stop the completion of the pass. Too easy there. Too easy on the inbound. That's uh, that's the advantage of, of playing with each other on a regular basis. 
you know how to get the ball in. Green up by two points. As the drive goes through, kicks across the outside. Shot too long. Green ball. And Lily Griffiths down under the basket again. She kicks it out, finds a teammate, and another two-point score. So in the space of 30 seconds, Green has kicked out to a four-point lead. It's probably time for uh, Andrew Kelly to uh, ring the changes. As goal comes off the screen, shot goes up, doesn't go. And there... There's a turnover, but Gold stepped out of court, and in comes Emily for three seconds, two, one. and there's half time as the shot misses just on the buzzer. So Green go into the half with a 9-15 uh, scoreline, four point uh, game. As, uh, as we see the, uh, the senior Falcons starting to uh, warm up. Ringwood also has arrived, letting, just a reminder that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that in just over an hour, the State Championship Women game will uh, kick off. Have you got any predictions for that one there? Um, it will be quite a close one, but I have a feeling that Ringwood might win because of because Katie won't is not going to be here. Kate Blues is not going to be here. Yeah, and Bridget. Yeah, and Bridget Adrosi, of course, uh, has. Yeah. is about to go in to have a knee operation yeah. so she's uh, she's a, a big out for the Falcons uh, so uh, and uh, she definitely won't be back for the rest of the season uh, mutual uh, agreement there because of the circumstances yeah uh, so uh, that uh, the the club and Bridget are, are parted ways, but uh, but Katie Blueser is one of our, our juniors who's uh, spent some time over at college, um, coming back, uh, deciding not to stay on for a second year at college. She's uh, instead she's uh, been promoted up into the senior team, and she's had a very good la last few weeks. However, Marley's back into the team, Marley Hayes, who um, who's been out injured, oh, yeah. so she's coming back in, as is. Um, Taylor Dickinson, also back from college over in the States. So she's coming in uh, to, to beef up the uh, inside presence in the in the team. So it uh, should be a good game. However, can we stop Amber Heggy? Amber is having an absolutely outstanding year. As the game gets underway with Green uh, managing to get the rebound off a missed shot from the... Uh, from the gold team. And I'm going to leave you with Hana for a second while I'm going to deal with some technical issues we've just got coming up. Missed the first one. <laughs> second one gone in.
miss for green. Yeah, he's taking it up. Two points for green. So uh, in that short short break, uh, the girls have been scoring at a frenetic pace there, and Green has got out to a 22-18 lead. So if you've been watching on online on the flash stream, we just had to restart the uh, the stream. As Gold's shot from outside doesn't go. Good rebound there from Emily, but couldn't get over the tall timber in the uh, green team. And who's that? Who's number 31? On green. Yep. Emily. Emily. So Emily versus Emily. As Green kicks the ball around, sorry, Gold kicks the ball around, it's with Emily. Now it's with uh, and the shot from outside, no good, but it's fallen into Gold's hand. And again, Emily with her long arms able to stop the, uh, the shot. And two points down the other end to Lily. Great little drive through there. Gold is not going away, are they, Hannah? No. Whoops. Player slip on the floor. And good D there from Green, but, uh, uh, sorry, Gold, but they've given away a, a foul. It'll be a baseline ball. As Aaron comes onto the court. And there's those tall arms of Emily helping out. And great little drive there from Gold. Doesn't go. Outside shot. Not quite there. And there's two points. 26 to 22. Just under five minutes in this quarter to go. And there's the foul. <coughs> foul on Aaron, so it's green at the line. Trying to take their lead out to a six point lead. That's the first. Misses the second, but the rebound picked up by Green and converted. So seven points in the game. And Gold. An attempted shot there from uh, Emily. Didn't go, but the rebound fell the way of the gold player who drove and was fouled. So Who's that? Anastasia. Anastasia is at the line. She misses the first.
and the second. So it stays as a seven point lead to Green, but Green manages to kick it out of court. Good work there from Gold. They're kicking the ball around through hands. They've got... Uh, and two points to the Gold. Perhaps they'll come, come, come back here. Now they just need another stop and a score. But they're not going to get it that way. Leaving the big players alone under the basket is not going to do it for them. And here's Anastasia driving hard. And she scores two points. Great little fast break there. Somebody's got a man up on the tall. Anastasia almost the steal. They're making it a lot more difficult for Gold to get in there at the moment, but there's a foul, and this time again on Erin. That'll be her third, I think. Romy comes on for Gold. Emily misses her first shot. And makes a second. So Gold has got it back to a four point game. Can they get a basket and a stop? As uh, Emily managed to get a block in there. Is that what she does on, on um, Friday nights? Yeah. Anastasia, two points. Great little move there from Anastasia. Uh, carry that the refs didn't pick up. But it's led to a turnover, so now Yellow has... Gold has the opportunity to uh, square the game up with this, with this passage of play. Moving the ball through hands. Outside shot is good. Thirty all, thirty all, and the rebound. Anastasia manages to control the ball. She gets it off to her teammate, and the score and the foul. Gold has got out to a lead for about the third time in this game. Mia picks up another foul as the subs are in for Gold. And the conversion. So now gold out to a three-point lead. We weren't, weren't uh, going to see this a, a few minutes ago. It's a big turnaround here from the, uh, from the gold team. Gold drives to the basket. Oh, in and out, in and out. Green uncontested on the rebound, though. Now they're driving down the floor. They've green, uh, Gold's come, come back to slow them down. Through hands. Emily, Emily out open at the top of the key, but the uh, green team was not quick enough to get the ball back to her. However, they get the ball into her this time. 
And now we have a foul on Gold as the uh, the rebound rebounded shot was uh, spoilt. But there was contact according to the refs. And the first shot goes in for Green. Who's that at the uh, line? Alana. Alana. Makes her second. Gold moving with a lot more purpose now. Moving the ball very quickly through hands. Aaron nearly lost control of it. There's Anastasia's shot. Too too long, but Gold's able to to uh, control it and Bree, uh, Bree shot goes up. No good, but she is fouled and goes to the line. So both teams in the bonus now. First shot missed. It's a Second shot is good. It's a two point game. Good hands from Gold. But then uh, after the uh, the shot, the, the ball was uh, knocked out. Another gold hand got in there and fouled. So uh, it's Mia, isn't it? Yeah. Mia's at the line. She misses her first. She gets her second. Misses her second, sorry. The rebound comes up. It falls gold way. Anastasia now driving it hard, running the point. She kicks it across the wing, goes into Erin. Erin drives, goes to the top. Anastasia will spot for the shot. Too strong. Now Mia driving hard, gets the ball across. Anastasia with the intercept. Her pass to Erin too strong. And now Gold knocks it out of court. And with, with that, we're in three-quarter time. Gold up two points after being six points behind there. The uh, scorers, uh, the official scores are, are a little bit different. I think we're right. I think we're right. I think uh, we're at, it's only a two-point game. But the official scores got it as, uh, as four. So we'll correct to the uh, official scorer. And... Uh, they have gold up by four points. But afterwards, we'll be able to check on the tape and uh, you'll be able to tell for yourself. So what do you think the coach is telling the green team at the moment? Um, I'm not quite sure. You're not quite sure? What You, you don't think the, the coach has got a plan in mind? Um, probably a play to do something at the end. Ah. Yes. So you, you know this, this coach reasonably well, don't you? Yeah. I wonder why. What's, what's the connection between you and the coach? It's my dad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so he's definitely going to have a, some sort of strategy in mind for his team there. Yeah. Ex excellent. As goal comes out. So the game today, ladies and gentlemen, is a Girls Got Game special event. Girls Got Game is a program that uh, the VJBL has initiated this year to celebrate the achievements of the girls, girl, uh, female athletes in the VJBL and is particularly concerned with trying to promote the game and keep girls playing after they, t after they uh, get into the last couple of years of... of uh, 
their junior career. So through the 18s and into 20s, as well as encouraging them to start playing organised sport right down there at under 12. The other thing that Girls Got Game is also recognising is the involvement of other female uh, athletes in, in support roles in the, in the, uh, the game, referees, administrators, scorers and statisticians. So Gold has dominated the play for the last three minutes but has not been able to convert as the ball goes out of court. It's a green ball. So Gold has tightened up their defense in a big way. And it's three seconds in the key, so there's a turnover from Green. Shot from Gold, no good. It's come off uh, Gold and it'll be a green ball. Gold uh, extending the press down the floor. Lily Griffith gets a shot up, but it doesn't go. Erin able to get back and uh, just apply enough pressure on her to, to spoil the shot. But now there's a an inbound ball, baseline play, and it's gone into Emily. Again, too easy there for, uh, for Green. And here comes, here comes Green again. Can they square up the, uh, the basket? No. Ball's come out. It's Gold running the floor hard. Green has got back. And the shot goes up. No good. Foul has been found this time against Green. So baseline play to, to Gold. Shot goes up, and two points scored. 36 to 32. We're back to a four-point ball game as Green finds Lily Griffiths under the basket. Open, but she steps out of court. Four and a half minutes to go. Any predictions on who do you think We'll, uh, we'll win the game. Um, I reckon it will either be a draw or by like a point that will win one team. And which team do you think is looking like the, uh, um, the winner at this stage? Gold. Gold. Again, another carry there, not picked up by the refs. Green moving, moving everything around. They're running, uh, calling a play. Green, Green struggling against this swamping defense of gold as the subs come in for gold. Green skipping it through hands. Shot goes up. Too too long. But it's come off uh, off green and it'll be a goal ball. No. Ref has reversed his decision.
And there it is. There's a turnover to Gold. Balls with Emily. She gets it, gets it off. Now the drive, the skip, and the shot will go up. Nearly in. And the ball has gone off hands. It'll be a green ball. And again, another turnover to Gold. Green's passing has been letting them down, particularly the last uh, 10 minutes, where they were very sharp earlier in the game. They're just trying to force the passes a little bit, and the ball's gone into Gold, and again, no basket. But there's a foul being called, this time, I think, on Lily Griffiths. Yes. So baseline ball to uh, Gold. Four point game. One minute 57 on the game clock. And the ball's gone into goal. And there's a foul on the shot. First shot, no good. It's fallen back to uh, to Gold. Again, Gold in possession. <laughs> shot, shot over the back of the basket. And the backboard and everything. So, green ball. One and a half minutes to go. There's enough time there for Green to get it up, but they've got to, they've got to work hard as Emily gets the intercept. She's driving the ball down hard. She crosses over. Good cross over there. Finds the player. Kicks the ball out. Shot from outside. Very flat and short. The other Emily with the rebound. Now Green again for the chance to get it back. One minute, 11 on the game clock. Shot goes off, but is too, too long. Now the ball coming down with Gold. They'll settle it down, pass it through hands, skip it across the side. Again, gold, uh, green, letting the, letting the green girls attack too easily. Not coming off the line and playing help defense there. And the shot goes up again. Another, another rebound there to, to gold as they quickly reverse the ball down the other way. And the shot goes up. Again, missed. And there's a foul by gold on green. 23 seconds to go. I think that gold might just get in there by a couple of points. Yeah. And here's Green moving the ball very quickly. They have to score. They have to attack and score. And this is exactly what they do. Two points to Green. Gold trying to get back the other way as quickly as they can. Anastasia to Emily, Emily back to Anastasia, kicking across, the shot from outside is not good, and there's the game ladies and gentlemen, with gold getting up by two points over green. Well done, thank you to Hannah for uh, helping out, and our volunteer camera people as well, sorry? Well, interestingly the refs the uh, score bench has called it a draw, which they've obviously picked up the two points that we saw before, so they've officially co recorrected the scores, and it's a drawn game. So well done to everybody. We'll see you again in about 40 minutes for the uh, 
just under 40 minutes for the champ women game. Okay, thank you, and we'll see you shortly.